session of art at home. My name is Amy and these are some of my little bug friends and uh, we're going to be working with one of my favorite materials today, polymer clay. Polymer clay is just amazing. Um, it is an, uh, a synthetic material that bakes in the oven and the vibrant colors just are wonderful and you can blend and work with them in a lot of different ways. So we've chosen as our project today, making a beetle. Beetles are pretty amazing animals. They are remarkably diverse and we don't even know how many species of beetles are out there. Scientists have identified about 400,000 distinct species of beetles and they're pretty sure that that might maybe be half of what's out there. Some 19th century naturalist, when he was asked what his study of the natural world could reveal about the mind of the Almighty, he said, apparently the Almighty has an inordinate fondness for beetles because of their amazing diversity. The ancient Egyptians made a lot of scarab art and um, you might be familiar with some of the scarab brooches and necklaces um, that were found in ancient Egypt and also were uh, popular in the 1920s here in the United States. So we can play around with the whole idea of a scarab, a beetle, a bug, really you do, you do whatever is cool to you. You can even use some of the make uh, leftovers to make like little uh, Little ladybug, ladybugs are beetles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how to work with polymer clay. You'll get two colors of polymer clay in your art at home packet, plus a little bit of uh, black for sort of like highlights and details. A little bit of this goes a long way. Polymer clay, unlike regular like earthenware clay, you don't use water with it. It responds to heat and friction. So heat and friction, this is the best way to get that going. You will, you uh, lighten up your clay or loosen up your clay by applying heat and friction. And I'm gonna get a little fancy with my, my colors here. I'm gonna create a little twist with my two colors, rolling out two snakes of my colors. Putting them together and twisting. Really, next to Mod Podge, I think this stuff is like my favorite art material ever. So look, I have like a wonderful, almost looks like rope candy. And twist that over on itself. And then we continue to twist. You don't want to overdo this. If you've ever made a marble cake and then you get too excited, about swirling the chocolate into the vanilla with your knife and then the next thing you know you've over swirled it and you end up with just sort of a light brown mush that can definitely happen here so don't overdo it but make a nice marbled texture yeah so now i have a nice boy i like that so this is going to be the main body of the bug and i'm going to turn it into a shape it's kind of like a half an egg. You want it to be flat on the bottom. This is for in case you want to make it into a refrigerator magnet. So there's my basic beetle shape. Just a flattened egg shape. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna create this little triangular shape here, like a shield, and then the two wings with a uh, contrasting color, or in this case, it's part of the same color. Okay, so you can roll it out. You could even use a rolling pin. I just use my, my fingers because I just love the way this stuff feels into kind of like, uh, like a thin pancake thickness. And then I'm gonna create this triangular shape. Put that on. And then we're going to create the wings. Some of the pigment might come off on your hands. It washes right off. 
um, but don't get it on your clothes because it does leave kind of a, a greasy, um, greasy residue that's hard to remove. My wings want to cover the beetle's body. We don't want to cover up the body completely. We want that beautiful marbling to still show. Okay, so there's kind of the basic setup. Now I'm going to get creative with um, some color and some texture. You don't need any fancy clay working tools. You can use a pencil. Make some texture here, some lines on the wings. All right, so I have a little scraps of yellow left over and I'm gonna make some little dots. You don't need any water or any glue or anything special. You just press the uh, little pieces of clay together. Okay, so for the limbs, you know, again, this is optional. There's something really nice about the limbless scarab, but this could look really cool. Okay, I'm making another little twistified thing here. Here's my finished creation. All right, so the next step, you have your masterpiece. You're really, really happy with it. You have created your own beetle. So now we have not 400,000 species of beetle, but 400,001 species of beetle. So next, you gotta cook it. You can use your regular oven. The polymer clay um, is perfectly safe to cook in your own oven, but the manufacturer recommends not using the same cookie sheet or baking um, tray that you use for food. And so what I do, is use a little uh, aluminum foil, stick my little friend on there, put him in the oven, and then it's 275 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. I, I err on the less time, um, you know, check it after 10 minutes and make sure it's okay. Just because some of the small bits can burn um, if you leave it in too long and discolor and it, it kind of stinks too. So, all right, we're back and my little friend is all cooked up. Ooh, it's a little hot, okay. Um, yeah, so this is, let's see, 12 minutes and it's a really hard, like ceramic hard, but you may notice if you look really close, the, the tips, the very thinnest parts got slightly discolored. So this one probably should have been about 10 minutes, but you know, it's an art form, it's not a science. Um, so there's my little beetle. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what you create at home with polymer clay. Uh, please take pictures and share with us on social media. Use hashtag FCC Art at Home to share your beautiful creations. And please join us next time uh, here at the Community Center for our next Art at Home project. In two weeks, we're gonna be transitioning into the fall season with watercolor fall leaves. So everything you ever wanted to know about working with watercolor and uh, making a, a beautiful work of art you could hang on your wall. So thank you for joining me here at Art at Home and please stay creative, okay? Bye-bye.